Hi, in this episode, we are going to actually start building the to-do application. So first thing we need to do is we need to change the header from hello react.js to to-do. So let's change that and hit save. And now we can see that our, our uh, header has changed. So that's good. Now what we need to do is that we need to add a button. So in order to add the button, what we can do is we can just, uh, first let me split this into two lines. Okay, so here what we can do is that we can put the button like this. If we can put button, submit. And if we do that, then we get an error. React.js does not like when we return two elements. So what we need to do is we need to wrap both of them into a single element. So one way to solve the problem is we will return div. So let's bring div down here and we will wrap to do into p. So we'll do p. and we'll just indent it. So now everything is wrapped inside div and that will work. But sometimes when we do fixes like this, then we need to refresh the whole screen. So let's try to refresh the whole screen. We refresh the screen and now we see to do and submit. So that worked. So next after the button, we need an input field. So that's easy enough. We can do input. So now we have an input field here. So we should have the input field above the button. So let's move it. Let's put a space here. So that's the input and then there's a button. So however, if I submit, nothing will happen. That's because we don't have a form. So let's try to add a form. I'll put a form here and then we'll put a form closing tag here and we'll wrap these four will indent. Okay, so now if I put eggs and hit submit, it's it's going all the way to server and then coming back. However, we should not be allowing the form to submit the code to the server. What we need to do is we need to do we need to intercept the form submission so that React.js can maintain the state. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to go to form on submit this dot handle submit. So this dot handle submit. And here we need to do handle submit event so when the first time the event comes to us we don't want the submission to go on so we need to do prevent default and then let's log that form was submitted so that we can test it so just hit submit and we see that form was submitted. So which means that so far the uh, wiring is working. We have prevented the form from submitting and we have taken control of the form uh, submission.